have a huge amount of people that are standing here in solidarity with asylum seekers. There's about 2,000 of us. It's fabulous turnout. It's absolutely worth it to be able to go and sit in front of a bus to stop the deportation of refugees. It's worth it to stay up all night out at Villawood Detention Centre to show solidarity and support with them, to show them that at least somebody in this country cares. That's what's important, that's what's worth it. I came from Afghanistan because of um, the war. I spent three and a half years in detention. Well, I'm here because I think we should be letting in asylum seekers and we shouldn't be putting them offshore in detention centres. It's a disgrace. It is wrong to detain people because of the trauma and the mental health which they face while they're in detention. You can't turn away from the suffering that you see going on in the world. I believe that my complete luck and by chance I was born into a country with freedoms and rights and that does not give me the right to refuse other people that freedoms and rights. Australians generally don't support what's going on. They don't support the idea that people are being detained offshore, being basically imprisoned and tortured. There's a third of people in Australia who support refugees and want to free the refugees and close the detention centres. A third are undecided and a third are against. So we've got to shift public opinion and move and mobilise people against racism. When I used to be in detention, I used to hear a lot of things when uh, Mr Howard was in power. They were saying, oh, we don't belong in Australia, we should go home. But when we used to hear that a lot of people came out and supporting us, saying that, uh, no, we should stay, we should be released in the community, he gave us hope. Say it loud, say it clear. <laughs> Mattis Island was set up as a deterrent. I thought it could never work because for a deterrent to be successful, the place you are running to has to be worse than the place you're running from. But I was wrong. The slow white torture of hopelessness, powerlessness and despair, not to speak of the abuse particularly to their children, as revealed by Gillian Triggs' report. So we've got both the you know, Liberal National Government and the ALP in opposition singing the same song. When you've got a situation like that, we need a pretty radical solution. A refugee policy is characterised by callous indifference towards those who seek our help. It's characterised by indifference towards international law wasteful squandering of resources as Australia chooses the very most expensive option for dealing with the problem of refugees. Around the world we have become known as a cruel people for our treatment of asylum seekers. Why is it that locking up of refugees behind the reservoirs in Manus Island in Nauru with their children does not arouse any outcry or sense of urgency. I can't ignore what I know that the country I'm a part of is causing and I can't look back on my life and wish that I had done something. Let's remember that every human life deserves dignity and have to be protected and respected. Let's not forget that this very country, that this very nation is built on immigration.